Yo people, I'm back again and this time we're doing PSG player ratings and in all honesty the player ratings they're coming to an end. I've got I've got a couple more ideas coming so these these are the last ones coming out I have to be real. It's been brilliant though. Never would have ever thought that my, my, my channel in 20 days yeah would have ever got this much attention so I'd like to thank everyone for um, appreciating the content and coming over so yeah thank you very much for that but anyway um getting into the team their nickname is le psg okay their owner 100 million percent loves them as well definitely um continental competition they're definitely a champions league team they got to the final last season so all right in terms of history this is what money can do you're seeing it anyway like the team of front the, the the real bad man in France they were I think it was Leon before these men got taken over or something it was Leon and as you can see this is what the money's done now these men are just untouchable I think that's when Emery was there obviously it was Emery to fuck it up right obviously but then again that Monaco team was sick I don't even know if Monaco won it but if it was Monaco I won't be surprised um, but overall that's that's uh, mad history I can't lie shows you the importance fam but anyway let's get into the team um, we're going to be going from goalkeeper all the way to the attacker so let's see alright so we're going to be going from Kalo Navas all the way to Neymar and Mbappe those are the ones that I'm going to leave last so um, yeah Kalo Navas let's see alright so he's 33 ok 4 star Okay, he's got 17 agility for a goalkeeper. That's phenomenal. Six foot one, quite small for a keeper. I'm not gonna lie, but that doesn't take away from the fact that he's got 19 reflexes and 16 one on ones. So they say he's a sweeper keeper. Would I put him as sweeper keeper? No, his kicking isn't that great. Neither is his passing. So you play to the strengths and you make sure that the shot stopping is the main thing that this guy's, you know, um, gonna have to be dealing with. I don't know why. He's better as a sweeper keeper when he's actually better as a goalkeeper on defend. That don't even make sense. But overall, like he's he's he is. I'm I'm gonna say he's world class. He's world class. Um, seventeen concentration, sixteen determination. He is world class with fifty anticipation as well. Overall, that's a quality goalkeeper. Definitely one of the best in the world. Um, unfortunately, he is quite old. So, um, this is still prime years, but only a couple more years to go before it's curtains like retirement so yeah um that's a really good goalkeeper Navas. next is Sergio Rico um I don't really know too much about this guy um he's 26 see now he's goalkeeper the friend cool 16 agility okay reflex is 17 one and one's 15 you know what I'm gonna be completely honest that's actually really good you know and he's six foot four for someone that's six foot four, foot in jumping reach is quite bad. Not gonna lie, you can't jump. I don't know how you can't jump and you're six foot four. You're letting you're letting down the two guys. Not gonna lie, but credit where credit's due is actually really good in terms of shot stopping. Seventeen reflexes is really good and fifteen one on ones as well. So on goalkeeper defend, he's gonna be pretty good. I'm not gonna lie, he's gonna be pretty good. Um, he's definitely a really really good backup as well. Fifteen one on ones, like I said, that's amazing. Twelve kicking. The passing's eleven, so he can he can kind of kick the ball. It's not bad. Um, overall, that's a really good goalkeeping card um, for backup. Really good backup. Only twenty six as well. Um, what, was, what was the rating again? Yeah, two and a half star. Yeah, he's good. He's good. Next, Presnel Kimpembe. Okay. Um, okay. Okay. So he's twenty four. Three and a half star. Cool. His, his description is powerful centre back 16 strength that's alright in terms of power that's that's calm I can see why cool in terms of the physicals 13 acceleration 14 agility 14 pace that's decent and 16 strength yeah the physicals are on lock I'm not even going to lie to you breath um, the physicals are calm still 13 technique 10 vision 12 passing um, that pivot is a bit it's a bit meaty I'm not going to lie to you um, it's not really ball playing not gonna lie not really ball playing but tackling 17 <laughs> hey I'm 17 tackling for Kim Pembe and he's only 24 
Wow, I've seen so many players that deserve way better tackling than that. Shout out Sebastian Gordillo, I was talking to him in the comments. Man like the fridge, or, or I forgot who it was, but there was an Inter Milan centre-back that has 15 tackling, who is light years ahead of Kimpembe, and has 17 tackling, which don't make sense. It doesn't make sense, not gonna lie. But credit where credit's due, mentally he's actually really good, which is surprising me. 16 determination, 16 concentration, 17 bravery, 17 anticipation, and he's composed on the ball as well. Not really going to make too many mistakes, but at least the tackling, wow, that's that's mad. That. 16 marking and 16 heading, so as a defender, he's brilliant. Would I play him as a ball playing defender? Not saying he can't do it, because he definitely can, but he's not really the one to step out. Like, what are you stepping out for? To do what? To say hello, fam? Why are you stepping out? You can't really step out with top with 12 passing and 13 technique and 10 vision you can't really step out as a ball playing defender on stopper maybe on defend where you're just winning the ball and giving it to the ball playing defender who I believe is Marquinhos who should be the ball playing defender not you not you get it right mate get it right 10 dribbling as well don't be stepping out mate that's not even that bad but just don't be stepping out I'm gonna be real but that's Kim Pembe 24 three and a half star next Colin Dagba I don't know who the fuck this is but he's 21 on wing back attack um okay so he's got the pace and the acceleration 14 agility as well 10 chef that's not even that bad 14 work let's look at the pivot 20, 13 technique 10 vision and 12 passing that's not too bad for a 21 year old not too bad um he's got slightly a bit of composure that's actually decent for a 21 year old um he can get a bit forward as well 13 dribbling 13 crossing he's got a decent first touch um He's looking decent. He's looking like he's going to improve significantly as well. He's only 21, so I'm definitely like intrigued to see how he's going to do in the future. 11 flair quite low for someone that goes forward, but then again, you don't really need flair as a centre back. I mean, not a centre back, a right back on attack, wing back attack. You don't really need it. It's not compulsory in it, so I'll allow him. 10 balance quite poor, but um, yeah, overall, that's a good development um, right back. Really good development right back. He's two and up. He's two star. He's two star. Um, the question is, is he going to get skin now with 11 tackling? Hey, I don't know, man. That 10 balance as well. Hey, I'm not going to lie. You're going to have to embed him. <laughs> You're going to have to embed him in the squad. Like, um, you can't start him straight away. Not that I think he will, but I don't even know who this man right back is. So do they even have a right back? I don't even know. Um, but overall... It's, it's a good development right back. So yeah, Colin Jack Dagba, Dagba, cool. Next, Abdul Diallo. This is my guy, by the way. Um, only only saying that because I bought him once in FM 2020 and he was flipping phenomenal, mate. It's two and a half star. Okay. Um, now, they took away his game face. I don't know why, because PSG do have the license in this game, I believe. So that don't make no sense. But anyway. 15 pace, 13 acceleration, 12 agility. That's all right physical. He's left footed as well. Always need a left footed centre back. 16 balance is really good for a centre back as well. And he's got strength too. 14 composure, that's decent. And 16 bravery. Um, 15 determination, 14 leadership. Look at the pivot quickly. 12 tackling, 12 vision, 13 passing. That's okay. That's okay. 15 tackling, decent. That's actually really good, not going to lie. This is not really a two and a half star card. I have to be real. That's a bit of a three star a bit of a free star not gonna lie they're doing him wrong they're doing you wrong bro they're doing you wrong not gonna lie 11 first touch don't let him have a first touch please don't don't if the ball's bouncing can he head it away he can so keep it in the air on the floor he's okay but that first touch is quite shocking 10 dribbling as well don't step out once again your defend please please just defend don't step out you can get back but don't step out thank you um, overall, that's a really good card. Um, it's not really two and a half star from what I'm seeing. That's a bit higher. But I'll say that's a three star centre back. Not gonna lie, but overall, really good. Um, yeah. Next is Marquinhos. This is the one I'm expecting to see. Who has a sick pivot? That's what I want to see. All right. Okay. Okay. I'm looking at the pivot first, and they've done him wrong. They've done him wrong. He's four star. He's got 14 technique, 12 vision, 14 passing. Don't get me wrong. For a centre back, that's not bad at all. That's that's decent for a centre back. But for this kind of centre back, who can play CDM, who I've been seeing play CDM, 
that passing is a bit of a disgrace. I'm not going to lie. Nothing is short of a disgrace. 12 vision for someone that's been playing CDM. Who can play centre back but has been playing CDM? And he's only 26 and you're, you're doing him like that? Whoever does these ratings, fam. Whoever does these ratings, they're doing a lot of people wrong, fam. I can't even lie to you. 16 tackling, that's really good. Um, That's really good. Now, would, have I, would, have, would I have made his passing higher than his tackling? I would. I'm not going to lie. I would have. I think his passing is his best um, attribute. Not going to lie. He's, he's a good passer of the ball. But anyway. Physicals quickly. 14 acceleration. 13 agility. 16 balance. Once again, another balance centre back. That's really good. 14 pace as well. That's decent. That's really good. 14 strength. Another good physical stat. But look at those mentals, please. Why are they so good? The only thing you can't do is off the ball and fill it, but you don't need that as a centre back because your positioning is what really matters, fam. Okay, cool. 15 work rate, 18 team work, 16 positioning, cool. 17 decisions, 16, de- I mean, 17 determination, 16 decisions, 17 concentration, and 16 composure. Mad thing. He's sick mentally. He's sick mentally. 17 anticipation as well. Definitely can step out. He definitely can. He can step out of that centre back role, and he can do a job in the end. Definitely, sixteen tackling, sixteen marking. Nah, he's filthy still. I'm not gonna lie. He's cold. He's cold. Fifteen heading. He's cold in it. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. He's cold. Um, fourteen first touch as well. A lot of centre backs aren't possessing this. Like as a ball playing, he should be one of the best ball playing. But they they did his passing dirty. I can't lie. Should be a lot higher. But overall. It's a good card either way. So we'll give it to him. Four star Marquinhos. Next is Alessandro Florenzi, who I do believe is the right back and is on loan in the club. Is he join, joining permanently? He doesn't say he is. But anyway, let's look at this card. So first thing that comes to my attention is four right back. He's got 10 tackling, which is not that great. 10 tackling mixed with in composure. And 12 decisions. He's looking like he can definitely get penalties. Not going to lie. That's going to piss me off. That is going to piss me off. Not going to lie. He's three star. Cool. Um, now, this isn't the Alessandrini that I... I mean, not the, the, the Florenzi. This isn't, the, this isn't, the, this isn't that Florenzi that I've, I've been seeing. Not going to lie. Based on these stats, um, he definitely can do everything. Um, definitely. So, they've got that right. But 14 pace, 15 agility, 15 acceleration. You know what? That might be right as well. But the balance is quite low. Like, currently, as I speak, he's wobbling, fam. That's the balance. That's that's what I'm getting from the balance, fam. Um, look, quick look at the pivot. 14 technique, 13 vision, 14 passing. I think that's a better pivot than Marquinhos. And do I agree with that at all? No, I do not, fam. No, I do not. 16 determination. Like I said, look at his mental. He can do everything mentally. Not even one grey. Not even one. Um, but overall, he's got a hand in every pond. He can get in the box. He can score. From far, he can bang it. He's got a cheeky bit of flair for a defender. He can cross as well. Um, the only thing with this guy is that you can definitely skin him. Definitely you can skin him 100%. When man's got 11 balance, and as I said, he's he's currently wobbling. As I'm speaking, he's wobbling, fam. He needs crutches or something to stay on his feet, fam. 10 tackling mixed with that balance, he's going to drop, fam. Someone is going to finish him. And in this league, I don't know who. I'll be real, this is not really the league to do it, fam. So he might survive still. Just play to his strengths. Make sure that in your system that you're playing with him, make sure that no one can get anywhere near him defensively. Nowhere near him. But anyway, that's Floren- That's Florenzi. He's decent still. Three star. Next, Thilo Kere. Now, I believe this is the guy that... Co- <laughs> I think this is the guy that Kingsley Coleman gave heart failure in that Champions League final. I think it is, but I don't know. I don't know, but I think it is him. He he he, he gave him a new name, fam. Kere, nah, <laughs> fam. He he sanded him. He finished him in that final. He had me going like, ah. <laughs> nah, he, he he done him still. He done him, but anyway, fighting technique, twelve vision, fighting passing, four centre back. That's decent. Um, seventeen pace. See now, that's really good, and he's only twenty three. So is he gonna get better? Yes. He's got the composure to back up the tackling. 16 tackling. That's amazing. Once again, your boy the fridge is getting done there. If a man like Kere, who's only 23, has better tackling than your boy. Mad thing. But anyway, 
11 strength for a centre back that's quite poor he's definitely going to get shouldered he's going to get moved to they're going to look at him like a little man and he, he's going to get dominated physically dominated not going to lie but technically he's got it mentally he, he's I'll say he's got it I'm not going to lie so overall that's a good centre back card definitely back up but definitely a good backup. so yeah that's Kere um, next is Juan Benat or Benyat um, quality quality defender by the way very consistent one of those guys that you know he's going to give you a 7, 6 out of 10 every game um, overall I really like him in it um, 14 pace that might be a bit too low but I'm not I'm not the judge fam 17 agility and 17 acceleration 4, 4, 27 okay he's not even that old so I will allow him um, overall the physicals are really good he doesn't really have strength but you can see you can understand 17 work rate, 17 off the ball, 16 determination, 17 aggression. So he's a bit of a fighter. He's a fighter, fam. Um, 14 technique, 12 tackling, 14 passing. Look at the pivot quickly. 14 technique, 12. Wait, 14 technique, 12 vision, 14 passing. Hey, that's that's another decent pivot. I'm not going to lie. Um, these men can definitely pass out from the back. Um, 15 dribbling as well. Can he beat his man? Yes, he can. 13 flair for a defender. That's really good. So with this guy. He works hard. He works really hard, and he's aggressive as well. Twelve tackling, not the greatest, but it's not really. It's not going to be that easy to get past him because he's quite of a fighter. Fifteen dribbling and fourteen crossing. See now with this guy, he's going to get. I, I will allow him to get to the byline, even with fourteen pace, because I know he's willing to get back. He can definitely drive with the ball, definitely. So that's another attacking outlet on another side of the pitch, and I'll definitely use him. Utilise him well. Um, overall, that's a really good left-back card. I like what I see. And that's Benyat. Three-star quality. Next is... Um, Levin Kazawa. The only reason why I know about this guy is because Arsenal wanted him. That that transfer, if that ever went through... Fam. Don't ever. Don't bring this guy anywhere near my team. I don't give a shit. Don't do it, fam. That transfer would have pissed me off. We still ended up with man like Cedric. I don't know why, but cool. Anyway, 15 acceleration, 14 agility, 14 pace. That's decent physical. With 13 strength as well, that's not too bad in terms of physicals. Okay, mentally, 12 anticipation, 12 bravery, 14 composure. That's not too bad as well. He makes... He needs to go cancelling still. He can't really make decisions for himself. Um... Overall, the mentals are not even that bad, I'll be real. Um, yeah, they're not that bad. 15 work rate as well, but no aggression. But don't really need it. Look at the pivot quickly. 14 technique, 12 vision, 13 passing. Not that bad of a pivot. Um, he can definitely kick ball. He can kick ball in it. He can. He is a footballer. Um, 12 tackling. Now, is he going to get skinned? He's got the agility and balance. Tackling is quite low. It's not, it's not the end of the world, but it's quite low. Um, 13 passing. I mean, 12 tackling. Okay. Now, the thing is, is he is he on support or attack? He's on support. Who who are you supporting? With what, what? What are you supporting with 13 crossing and 12 dribbling? Who are you supporting? I don't know who he's supporting. I'm not going to lie to you. Um, so, he's one of those guys. He's got a hand in every pond, but... Can he do it well? No. Is he going to improve? No. He can tackle? Can he do it well? No. He can pass? Can he do it well? No. He can shoot? Can he do it well? No. He can dribble? Can he do it well? No. Can he cross? Can he... You know what I'm trying to say in it. He's just a plain backup. Not going to lie. He's slightly proved me wrong. He's not that bad. I'm going to be completely honest with you. He's not that bad. I will definitely use him as a backup because I know what I'm going to get. Nothing fancy. Just straight do your job cool but yeah overall decent backup two and a half star cars are well. next Leandro Paredes this guy is cold in real life um, in the game do they agree with me let's see um, the physicals are decent they're alright 11 strength of, that's a bit too low not gonna lie 15 work rate yeah 15 aggression so he does work hard as well and he's quite brave he's got the composure to back it up and he makes the right decisions brilliant Quickly look at the pivot. 16 technique, 30 vision, 16 passing. He needs to go to the doctors or something, fam. Why can't you see? You're letting the pivot down, bro. You're letting the pivot down. He just let the pivot down. Why? Why are you doing that to me, fam? Man, let the pivot down. 
flip sake. Now are you going to be playing deep playing playmaker for me? I don't know. You've let it down. More box to box. Maybe box to box. I'll play, I'll play box to box still. Um, you're not really a destroyer with in tackling. You're not really a distributor. Even though you can distribute and you can do it well, you're not. You're not like up there with like the the Cruz and the Modric, them them kind of distributors. So you're not really there yet. Um, you, I don't think you'll ever get there at that age. Not gonna lie, but you're not bad in terms of passing. You're not that bad. Like I said, not a destroyer either. Um, he can bang it from far. He can get in the box and score. He's got a silky first touch. Um, he can definitely carry the ball as well from deep. Overall. As a box to box, I'll definitely play you because I know that you can attack, you can attack, and you can defend. You're not that sick at passing, and you're not that sick at tackling. But you can do both of them um, by themselves. You can do both of them quite well. So I know on your day you'll be a problem. So that's that's the benefit of the doubt I'm going to give you in game because I do plan on doing these game plays. Don't let me down. Let's go. Um, anyway, that's 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 parade days three star decent. Next. Marco Verratti. If I don't see anything, on, if I don't see anything over fifteen balance, there's a problem, fam. Let's see. They only gave him sixteen. Now, for me, that's too low. That's too low. I haven't seen balance like this before. Like this guy ain't seen balance. He's one of the silkiest bowlers I've ever seen. If I've seen one, and I've seen him play live. He's so silky. Ten strength might be a bit too high, but anyway. <sighs> okay, look at this pivot, please. Three and a half star. 17 technique, 18 vision, 18 passing. Why are you doing that to them? You're just you're just you're just gonna oh man. Like I said, with these kind of players, you can't get anywhere near them. Because they're just gonna move the ball. These guys are the biggest problems. Because you think that you've got them, but then the ball's gone. And then what what the fuck are you when they don't have the ball? When you when you're trying to get the ball off him and you don't have the ball, what the fuck are you doing, fam? Because you're not, you're not going to get the ball. Let's be real. And even if you do try and get him, even if you do get close, the ball's going through your legs, bruv. The ball's going to go straight through your legs. Man's got 18 flair. With these stats, are you fucking stupid? Don't piss me off, bruv. Get out of here, man. This guy's fucking cold, bruv. This guy's cold. This guy's fucking cold, fam. 17 composure as well. So man's composed to put the ball through your legs. He can drive with the ball. When the ball comes in the air, he's got the touch, and then the first touch is so important, it can take you out of the game like, boop, boop, boop. That first touch is so important, fam. This guy's fucking cold, bruv. They got it right. They got it right. They already know he's going to entertain me, fam. I'm definitely playing him. He's just, he's just going to make me laugh. The things he's going to be doing to these midfielders, oh, man. <laughs> I, I don't even want to know what he's going to do. It's illegal, fam. Like I said, 16 dribbling. For some reason, he can cross as well. Cold. Bula. Fucking Bula. Get me off this card, man. He's too good. Fucking Verratti, bruv. What's his rating again? Three and a half star. Don't piss me off. Anyway, Danilo Pereira. Don't know why they signed him. Um. Yeah, I don't know why they signed him in it. He, he just fucks up the base, fam. He fucks up the base. Um, I'm not going to lie. In, in a system where you're playing with 1DM, then I can see why you would play him. But then again, he's not even that good to be playing 1DM because he hasn't really got the composure. And I've seen defenders that play midfield that have got better tackling than you and you're just straight DM for him. Or straight centre, centre midfielder defend. Because you can't really pass. 12 vision, 12 technique, 13 passing. That's not really that good for passing. You can't really dribble. Your tackling isn't that great. You're just strong, bro. You're just strong. I'm not going to lie. This guy's just strong in there. I think he's shit. I have to be wrong. I think he's shit. I'm going to be completely honest. I think he's shit. Like, you're, you're, you're literally just strong in it. I'm getting off this card in it. Three star might be a blessing. Not going to lie. Next, Ander Herrera, ex-Manchester United player. Um, He is just passion. Let's be real. Um, 18 work rate. 8 anticipation. That's really good. 17 aggression. Um. Yeah. Those phys those those mentals in those areas are really good. He's determined as well. So yeah, that's good. Eighteen stamina, seventeen natural fitness, six agility. So you can definitely move about, but thirteen pace is quite slow. And eleven strength as well. So you're hyping up, but you're gonna get bodied either way. So hype up as much as you want, bruv. Like hype up as much as you want. You you've got eleven strength. You're letting you're letting yourself down. Just chat bare. But when it comes to shoulder to shoulder gonna get moved to anyway look at the pivot quickly 
15 technique for invasion 15 passing that's really good not gonna lie that's really good for him i have to be real that's really good i can't even call him a destroyer anymore i was gonna call him a destroyer but he's got 14 tackling his passing's better than his tackling so he's not really a destroyer he, he can distribute i wouldn't call him a distributor but he can distribute so once again that's box to box but the only problem with this guy he can't dribble fam so, you know, I always say there's a difference between dribbling and carrying the ball. He can definitely carry the ball, but that, all, all that means is that if someone does press him, he's going he's gonna to give it away. That's all it means. 15 crossing as well, for some reason. That's decent, 15 first touch. Overall, as a box-to-box -box midfielder, on support, that's a, that's a decent card. I have to be completely honest. That's a decent card. Decent. Three star and Herrera. Next, Idris Agay. Why am I just naming bare shit midfielders? He's shit. He, he, he wasn't that great at Man United, but he's all right now. And this guy was at Everton, fam. This guy was at fucking Everton. What the fuck? This team's actually not that great. Let me be real. But anyway. Um, okay, okay, okay. He's Senegalese. Well done. Um, free star. Okay, okay. He's the person I'll play DM. Fuck that Pereira guy. Terminate that loan. Don't, don't waste your time. You've got him. Why would you have that Pereira guy? What, because he's two years younger? Then get a youth player. You dumb fucks. Don't waste your time, fam. Cool, this guy is the destroyer, fam. You get this guy in that midfield. All he has to do is win the ball and distribute it to the fucking playmaker. And you're laughing. And you're bloody laughing, mate. He's three star. 18 work rate. 17 anticipation. Brilliant for ball winning. 16 bravery. Brilliant for ball winning. 16 determination. Brilliant for ball winning. With 18 tackling, better than most centre backs out there. Better than most midfielders out there. Gonna clamp a lot of attackers out there. Destroyer. <laughs> that's basically what you destroyer, innit? Um, that's all you need to do. Um, put him as a destroyer. Like, let him back guard that back four. Don't put him anywhere higher than that fucking DM role. Because in the midfield, he's gonna get cooked. Not gonna lie. So, do what you do. Put him DM. And, and, you're, and you're sourcing. That's that's um just again. Next Rafinha, another myth I, I, okay, let me be real. I actually rate this guy. Um I do rate him, not gonna lie, I do rate him. But is he PSG worthy? We're about to find out. Um So he's looking at the cam. I swear these men had like Sarabia or something. I don't know if they still have that Sarabia guy, but you don't really need both of them, I'll be real. Um, he's two and a half star in the midfield, but in a position that he's not even meant to be playing, he's three star. Okay, that don't make sense. This game is just so walking contradiction, fam. These are the vibes that I get from this game. Such a walking contradiction. It don't make sense, but anyway. Don't really put him out wide. He ain't got the pace to go there, not gonna lie. At least he can dribble, though. Anyway. 16 work crate. Fifth, okay, cool. Look at the pivot. 16 technique, 15 vision, 16 passing. Put that in the midfield, please. The only problem with him is that he's got fucking 13 decisions, fam. So he's not even that good. I'll be real. 13, 13 composure as well. You can definitely get a better cam than this, your PSG. Come on now. Come on, man. 16 dribbling, 16 first touch, 16 passing, and 16 technique, which are really good. Te they're, they're very silky. I'll, I'll be real. You can definitely take man souls, but with 13 flair, you're boring. But I can't lie, you're a bit boring, bro. You're a bit bro. You're, you're, you're definitely a bit boring. I'm not going to lie. Um, So, 14 agility. Like I said, I'll use him to pick up the ball and drive in it. Not gonna do it that quick, but at least he can drive, take a couple of plays out of the game, make them come up from their positions. That's all I use him for. In terms of distribution, he can get a couple of assists. Can he get in the box and score? Slightly. Does he need to work in this finishing? Definitely. But you know, eleven finishing. I've seen seen a couple of defenders with better finishing than that. Not gonna lie. Anyway, um, overall, it's an okay backup. He's not starting. I don't give a shit. He's not starting. Hopefully, Sarabia is still there. If I'm pronouncing that right, because this guy cannot be the starting cam. He can't. He can't. He can't. Um next is Angel Di Maria. Okay, okay. Uh man, 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 man. Why are you doing this, man? Why you thought I'd do that to them? Di Maria, why? Why? He's so cold, man. He's so cold. He's so cold. He's four star cool. 16 acceleration, 17 agility. Don't step in. Anyway, 15 pace, mad thing, 11 strength, so if if you do manage to get shoulder to shoulder with him, you're going to bully him, but I doubt it, I definitely doubt it, 17 agility, 
mad thing. Look at the pivot quickly. Someone like this, with a pivot like this that's out wide, I'm getting a couple ZH vibes. I'm not going to lie to you. I'm not comparing them. Not player, for, not player for player, but if you can see what I'm saying, you can see what I'm saying. Because I am definitely getting a couple ZH vibes with, with, with a player like this out wide who's got passing like that. His dribbling's quite low, but it should be higher. Definitely flary. He's, he's, he's reminding me of CH, I can't lie to you. But that's that's my comparison that I'm using right now. Not comparing them in terms of like player for player, but you know what I mean. 17 technique, 16 vision, 17 passing. Fuck off. <laughs> four, 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 four winger. That's ridiculous. That's fucking ridiculous. Like I said, with players like this, they're so special because one of, it's one of them ones where either way, you're fucked fam as a defender you're thinking ah oh, should I go should I stay if I go he's gonna fucking kill me he's gonna humiliate me he's gonna humiliate me the ball's going through my legs I'm getting twisted up into spaghetti bolognese fam and it's peak if I stay he's gonna whip the ball over my head into the back post for Mbappe and Neymar to fucking bang it in so either way I'm fucked fam that's what, the, what that's what defenders are thinking with this guy and he's composed as well so if you do reach in the ball's going through your legs <laughs> Ah, uh, this guy's so cold on my day. 17 first touch. Fuck off, fuck off, fuck off, fuck off. Fuck off. He's too good, he's too good, he's too good. 17 long shots. Are you fucking stupid? Why? 14 finishing, quite low, not gonna lie. And 15 dribbling is quite low. But why the fuck can this guy cross? Why can he cross? Why? 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 Why do you have to do that, fam? Why the fuck do you have to let him cross? Why? Fucking hell. Um, oh, my day. <laughs> Uh, man, that's that's a joke. I'm not gonna lie. Um, that's a fucking joke. This guy is a fucking joke. Game fucking over, mate. Game over. Game over. Game over. Anyway, I'm I'm leaving Neymar and Mbappe last. Next, we're gonna go to fucking Sarabia. This is ah yes, they have him. Yes, yes. Okay, cool. Ah, uh, ah, uh, he let me down. He let me down. He let me down. He let me down. He's even fucking worse than Rafinha. <laughs> Uh, he's shit, I can't even lie to you. He's shit, I have to be completely honest. He is shit. Where did he come from? Where did Sarabia come from? Fucking Zevia. Uh, go back, go back to fucking Zevia, bruv. This guy is shit. I can't lie to you. He's fucking shit. You let me down. That fucking, that fucking Rafinha guy is better than him. No wonder they bought him Rafinha because he's shit. He's rubbish, fam. He's rubbish. Why the fuck are these basic midfielders in a team like PSG? It don't make sense. Man, seeing Everton, man, like fucking Idrissa Gane gay. No disrespect, but man like Everton, man, gay. Fucking Danilo Pereira, fam. Fucking Ander Herrera, fam. And now you're telling me fucking Sarabia, this guy is shit, bruv. He's shit. He's rubbish. Fuck, he's, he's shit. He's rubbish. I have to be real, he's rubbish. He, he's rubbish. Cam, fucking. Well done, you've got 13 decisions. You need to go counselling or something, fam. Man don't know, he don't know how to make decisions for himself. He doesn't know how to. 16 technique, 16. See, now that pivot, it let me down. I was expecting to see a couple 17s in there. Man like Di Maria should be playing Cam at this rate, fam. Not gonna lie. Man like Di Maria should be playing Cam. Because these two Cams are shit, bruv. They're rubbish. You know what? Fuck it. Put Neymar on the left, put Mbappe on the right, put Di Maria Cam. Because those Rafinha and fucking Sarabia, fam, they're letting you down. These men, for squad depth, they're amazing. But starting, and I've seen this guy start a couple times as well. Fuck off, man. He's he, he shit. He shit. Free stuff. I don't know how. But anyway, Julian Drexler, I think he's a youth prospect that's not really done his thing. I have to be completely honest. Is the game going to bet me on that one? I believe they are. I believe they are. A winger with 13 pace says it all, really. You're six foot two, but you've got 10 strength. So you're just fucking lanky. <laughs> You're just you're just spaghetti, fam. You're just you're just tall for long. I mean, <laughs> once said tall for long, you're, you're just tall for no reason. That's that's what that's what I'm seeing. Fam. I'm not gonna lie. Um, sixteen vision. I mean, oh my god, sixteen technique, fifteen vision, fourteen passing. Just gets worse and worse, fam. <laughs> it's two and a half star. Well done. Um, I'm not gonna lie. He's he's not that good. I have to be wrong. Um, seventeen first touch, sixteen dribbling, but with fourteen finishing, which is decent. I can't lie, that finish is decent and the composure as well. And he's either footed. Can he play cam for me? With 12 decisions? No. Can he play wing for me? With 13 plays? No. Can he play striker for me? Now, striker? That's not a bad show, you know. Little false nine thing linking the play, little martial thing. That's not that bad as a striker. I have to be completely honest, as a striker, 
I would definitely train him to play there. Because on the wing, no. Cam, no. Striker, let's try it. I, I actually genuinely want to see where that will go. Because if finishing is not bad, neither is his long shots. Flair, create chances for himself. He's, he's six foot two, jump reach of 16, heading of six. How the fuck have you got 16 jumping reach, but your heading is six? <laughs> Oh uh, man, this game is so funny, you know. The ratings are just stupid, fam. Anyway, um Moise Moise Zikin, um I think he 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 um who was it against? Was it that Open Makano? Fuck it out, mate. That that was fucking disgusting. But anyway, Moise Zikin, he's twenty. So still a youth player in three years he can definitely play for the under twenty three still, so that's good. Anyway, physically he's amazing. Seventeen acceleration, fifteen agility, sixteen pace, eighteen natural fitness, fourteen strength. Um, that's decent, not gonna lie. Now, mentally, he needs to go to school. I'm not gonna lie. He needs to go to school. He needs to learn how to be composed on the ball. He needs to learn how to make the right decision. Because right now, playing a striker and you've got 10 composure and 8 decisions, the amount of service you're going to have to give to this guy for him to get anywhere near 10 league goals is ridiculous. And don't get me wrong, this is the perfect place to be if you want service from him. You got man like Di Maria behind you. So you can definitely get 10 goals with this guy because he's got 15 finishing, 12 long shots. Can create a couple of chances for himself with 40 and dribbling. 12 flair, I think for him is quite low, but quick click with a pivot, 14 technique, 11 vision, 11 passing, not a pass of the ball. As you can see, he's just, just a shooter, really. Can he link the play? Let's see what his natural position is. Pressing forward. 15 work rate, 16 aggression. Um, I can see why they put him pressing forward, but just work on that composure. Teach him. Um, yeah, teach him, teach him. Anyway. Okay, um, maybe I should have left Di Maria till around these these guys, but fuck it now. Let's let's just get into it. Let's get into it, man. First Ikadi. Now, in this game, from from past experience, from playing with him and then next game playing against him. This guy is stupid. He's fucking ridiculous. In this game, he's ridiculous. I'll put it. That's that's the nicest way I can put it, fam. Because man's banging 40 league goals. My friends that play football manager with you, I mean with me, can vouch for me. Man banged 40 league goals. In the Premier League, he banged 40 league goals, bruv. Cool. 14 acceleration, 15 agility, 14 strength. Those are decent physicals. Decent physicals, 13 strength as well. That's not that great but not too bad for a striker 20 off the ball that's code for if you mark him he will draw your opposition and he's just he's just a distraction for Neymar and Mbappe to get him behind so it's a lose-lose if you mark him you're fucked if you don't mark him he's got 18 finishing he's, he's ridiculous <laughs> he's stupid isn't it 17 composure now Get him in that air. Because they don't think he can jump. He's only 12. I mean, he's only... He's only, he's only 5'11". And he's only got 12 jumping reach. But let me tell you this. If you get a whipped ball, not a floated one. Whipped cross on this guy's head. It's going in, fam. 17 heading. Overall, as a striker, this guy, I know what he can do. So it's frightening, fam. It's frightening. I know what he can do in it. And he's a poacher, so he doesn't give a fuck about Lincoln. We don't even need to look at the pivot. We're going to look at it anyway. 14 technique, 10 vision, 13 passing. But he, he doesn't give a fuck about Lincoln play. He doesn't give a fuck about anyone around him. He only cares about himself. He only cares about banging in the goals. Because as you can see, apart from his off the ball, that's his best step for him. Just banging it in. Three and a half star, Maro Icardi. Okay, here's where it gets very disgusting for him. Here's, here's where I'm going to regret clicking on these people. We're going to go Neymar first because Mbappe, man, um, I don't I don't know what to expect. But let's let's just get into it, man. Let's get into it. Fuck off, 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 fuck right off, fuck right off. Four and a half star. It's game over. End the fucking, oh my days. All right, um. Cool, cool, cool. <sighs> okay, all right. Where do I start? Where do I start? Man called him legendary. <laughs> all right, I don't think I've seen that before. I don't think I have. 
um, maybe I have, but I haven't been paying attention. But legendary, fuck right off. Anyway, 16 pace, 18 agility, 17 acceleration. So firstly, don't step in. If you're a center back, don't step in. 10 strength, well done. I don't know how you got that. That might be a bit too high. But then again, I don't know if he's weak. So don't need it anyway. It's fucking Neymar. Anyway. Let's, let's just quickly look at the pivot here. Quickly. 20 technique. 16 vision. 16 passing. For for a winger. So so you know that you know that analogy that I always give you. Whether if I go as a, as a defender. If I go, I'm fucked. If I stay, I'm fucked. With, with this guy, walk off the pitch, there's no point. Because no system, no five at the back, no seven at the back that I know Arteta likes to do. It's going to stop this guy. 20 dribbling. 17 composure and 19 flair. That is code for. If you come to me, the ball's going through your legs. It's going over your head from a rainbow flick. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to take off your boots when you're on the floor, and I'm gonna give them to someone else because you don't deserve them, fam. That's what he's gonna do. That's that's simple, and that's just that's just a little one. That's me putting it nicely. That's as nicely as I can put it, fam. That's as nicely as I can put it. Seventeen first touch. Are you taking the piss, fam? He's even got sixteen finishing. So, all right, cool. Inverted winger inside forward. I don't know which one you can do, but you can do either in it. With 20 dribbling, when he cuts in, you're not getting the ball. You're not. Um, and when he gets in the box, he's shooting and he's going to score. From from far or, for, or from in the box, he, he's getting in and he's scoring. Not going to lie. That, that, that pivot is fucking ridiculous. Man said 20 technique. <laughs> it's just laughable, isn't it? 20 technique, fam. Man. 17 composure, 16 anticipation. This guy, minimum 20 goals, minimum 20 assists. I don't give a fuck. That's Neymar. No one can chat shit. That's what's going to happen. It's inevitable. It's inevitable. But now he may be the main man, but I have another main man. He's four and a half star. Man, we're about to get into Mbappe right now. Um, before I do this I'd like to thank everyone for once again supporting the thing don't forget you can subscribe you know what the content is you know what the content already is man um, you, you already know what to expect from my channel But so yeah you know what to do subscribe anyway Mbappe so guys that was a good video today um, oh my god <laughs> The silence was definitely needed. It was needed still. Cool. Um, apart from Adama Chayore, he's the only other player I know that possesses 20 acceleration and 20 pace. I'll repeat. 20 acceleration and 20 pace. All right. Um, he's four and a half star. And bear in mind, he's only 21. <laughs> oh, it's game over. It's game over. It's game over. Who gives a fuck if you don't work hard? Who cares? You're fucking in bad pay breath. By the time you run, fam, I don't even, I, I don't know what to say. I, I generally don't know what to say. 17 technique. Okay, the pivot, surprisingly, it's not the greatest. I have to be completely honest. It's not the greatest. But where, where do you play him? Left wing, right wing striker. I don't know where to play him. I don't know where to play him. Icardi can get dropped, Neymar can't, but Di Maria can't either. I'm I'm putting him striker. I can't lie. I'm putting him striker. Icardi hold bench, fam. Hold fucking bench. Seventeen finishing. Eighteen dribbling. Sixteen first touch. Twenty acceleration. Twenty pace. Barry Allen. The flash. That's from Incredibles. Cheetah. Fucking hell, this guy. So I don't, I don't know what to um, say in terms of pace. Don't bother, don't even bother, because if this guy gets to the byline, if he gets to the byline, ah, uh, I don't, I don't, I genuinely, I'm lost for words. In it. I'm lost for words. That's why I keep on stuttering. That's the only reason why I keep on stuttering is because I'm lost for words, fam. This guy's ridiculous, and he's only 21. 
Thank God the pace can't go up, fam. Imagine if it was 21. <laughs> Thank God it can't go up anyway. But 18 flare, 17 finishing. So let me just quickly tell you what he's going to do. He's going to pick up the ball from anywhere. He, he can, let's say it's a corner and the ball gets cleared. He's, he's around here, the centre back position. He can pick it up and he can drive all the way into your box and score because he's got the pace to drive. He's got the dribbling to carry the ball and he's got the finishing to complete the fucking... And, and he's got the 18 composure. 16 first touch. Don't even attempt to win the ball. Don't try. Because not only can the ball go through your legs, in about three seconds, it can go through the... It can go through your legs about five times with fucking 20 pace, fam, and 20 acceleration. Fuck off. Mbappe, how dare you? How fucking dare you? Four and a half star. I'm done, fam. I'm fucking done. I'm done. I don't give a shit. That, that is fucking ridiculous. But anyway, you guys, subscribe to the thing, like the video, and I'll see you guys next episode.